Wenzel. Wenzel in sixth position. Chinowith gaining ground on the 73 every lap. <coughs> Chinowith driving the tires off of that. Now, one of the thing. Oh, we got a wreck. Trouble, 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 trouble. No yellow flag, no yellow flag. Uh, the three. Wenzel into the outside wall really hard. Does not bring out the caution. Nobody else involved. He's going to have to come down pit road. What? Oh, and Wetzel spins it coming down to pit road. That's going to be a penalty. Wetzel having all kinds of issues, getting loose, coming off the back stretch all by himself. Meanwhile, here are the leaders as they put him a lap down. That three Oreo car going to have to get some damage fixed to that. This is going to be bad news for the three car right now. The three and the 69. Let's take a let's find out where the 69 is right now of Underwood. Underwood still 19 laps down. The three better and his crew better get that car back out on the track uh, if he wants to save third position. Oh, Wenzel takes it behind the wall, back to the trailer. That's good news for the 69 of Underwood. Underwood, all he needs to do is run two more laps. No, that's not true. Wenzel needs to pass uh, the six, this, er, sorry, the 69 needs to pass Wenzel in the position and uh, he will lock himself into third uh, position in the uh, point standing. Will he be able to do that? Currently right now, Underwood, and we'll, uh, we'll check back in on this race. Underwood, 19 laps down currently right now, according to scored to iRacing. So he's going to have to run 17 more laps in that wrecked race car. And he should secure his position uh, in third place for the championship. But this is your battle going on right now between the 73 of Anderson and the 51 uh, one of Chinowith. Anderson, your pole sitter, looking to stay out front for the rest of the race. And there is Bourgeois losing ground on these two leaders right now in third. Ned Adams. Ned Adams just goes by the 84 of McHorter. And this is going to be four position. Adams takes over fourth. McHorter back to fifth. Adams into the wall. Comes back out wide, and that's going to give room for the 84 to take his spot back. Down on the inside of Adams. Adams having trouble staying up real high. While all that's going on, the 51 looking to the inside of the 73, trying to make a pass on him, get back out to the point. The 73 doing a great job keeping uh, the 51 back there. But if I know Chinowith like I think I do, he's not going to sit around much, much longer and uh, let him run this. He's going to really try to get in front of him, and uh, he's going to use any lane he can find that will work. Chinowith telling me earlier that he didn't think he was very good at this track, and uh, the rest of the field right now would probably call uh, BS on all of that. Chinawith has been running up front all night long, but Anderson right now in the Budweiser Bud. Grab some Bud Chevy Impala. 
Still continues to lead them around here on lap number 93. Let's go on board with our leader and take a lap around Homestead, Miami. Crank it up, crank it up, crank it up. No, oh, sounds to me like uh, Anderson's got a miss somewhere in his engine. I don't know, ladies and gentlemen. Anderson may be having some engine issues right now. Right now, it sounds like he's uh, getting ready to go down a cylinder. It may just be the way he's uh, feathering the throttle down the back stretch, but. Sounds like he's got a miss. But it must not be that big of a miss because he is gaining ground on the 51 at Chinoweth here on lap number 95. Interval between first and second place. Anderson and Chinoweth right now is 1.196 seconds. Almost 1.2 seconds between first and second place now as Chinoweth, I believe, really burned up his tires coming off, trying to get uh, trying to get the position back. And I think he has burned off some of his tires right now. Bourgeois gaining ground on Chinoweth as we speak. But we got more racing going on back here. There is the 99 of Gollin and the 75 of Stevenson. 97 of Carpuzos. Also, this is uh, this has been going on for about six laps, ladies and gentlemen. These three guys uh, kind of battling it out here. Taking a look at the nine in ninth place of Dunkovic and the 69 of Underwood. Underwood currently scored in 11th position, trying to secure his place. Uh, at the end of the season, uh, I believe he's running for third. And with the three car off, the 69 is going to have to go. Sixty nine is going to have to go eight, at least eight more laps. The three car has come back from behind the wall. He's back out on the track. Cruz still trying to get his car fixed. This is bad news for Underwood. If the three car does get back out, and no, he doesn't. Wenzel, well, maybe he does. He disappeared there for a second. I don't know if it was aliens again. We have problems with aliens around here. But uh, Wenzel still out down on pit lane. Uh, he comes from behind the wall, gets his car back out on the pit lane. The crew feverishly working to get that thing fixed so he can get back out ahead of Underwood. Anderson really extending his lead now over Chinoweth. Chinoweth, I believe, 2.8 seconds. We'll check the speed here at the line. Let's fall back to Chinoweth there in the 51. As soon as he hits this stripe, let's take a look at 3.3 seconds. So Anderson extending his lead. Chinoweth pulling a sneaky. Chinoweth saving gas, ladies and gentlemen. He's shutting his engine off in the turns. Listen to his engine. Chinoweth making an economy run here, losing a lot of ground on first place. Thinking this race is going to go green the rest of the way. Chinoweth shutting his engine off into the turns, trying to save gas, ladies and gentlemen. This is a form of strategy we've seen Chinoweth pull off before, and it worked for him. But meanwhile, while he's doing all this, the leader pulling away. The three car, uh, the Oreo of Jeff Wenzel pulled his car off of pit lane and he has brought it back down to pit road and back down behind the wall. He came back out to put out another lap. I don't know if this was a form of strategy to keep the 69 of Underwood uh, under pressure, but right now uh, the number three back behind the wall for the second time of the night. This is going to give Underwood yet another chance to gain the position in the points. There is Ned Adams. Ned Adams currently scored in fifth. 
Let's go on board with Ned. Ned running the real low line there. Coming out of turn number two. He's taking it pretty easy. He's not pushing it too hard. I believe 73 leader Anderson coming down pit lane right now for green flag pit stops. This is exactly what Chinnawith wanted to see. Anderson, your leader, gives up the lead to come down to pit road for green flag pit stops on lap 103. Meanwhile, Chinnawith, who's been saving gas for many, many laps now, uh, he's going to retake the lead. All right, sides go on. And 73 only takes two tires, two tires, two tires. And, and I think he, I don't know if they got that fuel cell packed or not. Uh, this may, that actually may have been a bad decision. As you see the Chinnawith go around the 73 and put him a lap down. So your former leader of the 73 of Justin Anderson goes a lap down to Zach Chinnawith in the 51. Let's go on board with Chinnawith, see if he's still saving gas. He absolutely is coasting around the turn. Fires up the ignition coming out of turn number four down the front stretch at 180 miles an hour. There goes the engine, ladies and gentlemen. You've seen it. You've seen it here live on Norgar TV. You don't get to see this very often. Not these strategies not employed all that often, but Chinowith is uh, he loves to do this. We got more cars down on pit road right now. Let's head down to pit lane, pit lane, pit lane reporters. We need you. There is a 97 pulling down to his pit stall. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 comes to a stop. Let's see what kind of uh, strategy Carpuzos is going to put in. Carpuzos, the right side's going on. We're still under green flag conditions here tonight on Norgar TV at Homestead. Right side's only one uh, can of fuel. And he's going to come off a of pit lane. We're going to see some of the other leaders. They're going to have to come down at some point. I don't think, ladies and gentlemen, that Chinnawith can save 30 laps of fuel. I think that's way out of the question there as Anderson gets back out on the track. Your former leader now in seventh position. The, six, the 66, the 99 coming down pit road. So is the 75. These guys make it. He, all these guys at one lap down, coming down pit lane right now under green flag conditions. They were hoping for a caution. They're not going to get it. Bourgeois out in second position now. Head down to pit lane as we eat more green flag stops. Getting ready to happen here now. All these guys down on pit road right now, they're all fighting for position. Let's see who does what. Thanks, Adams. Yeah, they're all taking four tires. All these guys taking four tires, and Adams has a little bit of trouble with the jack coming off. The 99 is got to – no, he's not. The 66 gets him at the line. That was real close, ladies and gentlemen, coming off of pit lane right there. Adams had some trouble with the jack man on the left side, but he was still able to be quick enough to get out in front of the 99. And the 75, he also takes four. He'll be coming back out. Let's uh, let's find Chinnawith here in first position here on lap 109. Chinnawith's going to have to come down, ladies and gentlemen. There's no way he can save this much fuel. Still saving fuel, ladies and gentlemen, here on lap 110. Better be careful. There is always that chance that you can't refire the car. And he, do he does not want to run it too low on gas because he will never. Ned Adams, the 66, trouble, trouble, trouble. Ned Adams got black flag speeding coming off of pit road. When he was battling the 99 coming off of pit road, he gets a speeding penalty. This is going to hurt his 
uh, it gonna hurt his run here tonight in Homestead, Miami. Ned Adams coming down for a uh, black flag stop, stop and go penalty. Oh my gosh. Turn the radio off as he comes down to his stop. He's gonna have to stop and then he's gonna get to go. Go, 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 Ned. It looks like uh, Adams there serving his penalty. Adams came off the line about seven miles an hour too fast to beat the 99 off of pit road, which he did. But the 99 uh, minded his P's and Q's and didn't get a penalty. And uh, he's up there now as we watch Chinoweth still continue. Chinoweth has not come down pit road yet under these uh, green flag conditions for his, uh, th that'd be the third stop of the night. Uh, we've seen two sets of green flag pit stops, one set underneath, under caution. Only one caution flag so far here tonight. Lap 112 of 130 as we get ready. To, we're winding this sucker down, and Chinoweth still saving fuel coming down the back stretch. As he coasts through three and four. Chinoweth been saving gas for about 15 laps now. I don't think he can go all the way to the end. There's no way. He's going to have to come down for fuel. Interval between first and second position right now. 5.2 seconds. Chinoweth better be careful. There is the look at your second place leader or second place position of the 84 McHorder now. McHorder takes over second place driving for Indiana this week. McHorder down on the apron. He thought about making a pit stop but no. Changes his mind and almost loses the car. It's a good thing he didn't try to come down pit lane. He would have spun it out. There is Bourgeois licking his chops. I think Bourgeois is saving gas as well. Let's go on board with Bourgeois. A lot of different strategies going on here tonight. Right along with Gary. That is, a, that is exactly what Bourgeois is going to do here with 15 laps to go. Bourgeois is saving fuel as well. These guys got to really try to stretch the fuel mileage. This is amazing. I have never seen anybody try to stretch fuel mileage this far. I honestly don't think they can do it, ladies and gentlemen, but we're going to see here. We got 15 to go. Anderson, your earlier leader who was out in front, he has creeped his way back up to fourth position, praying for something to happen to try to get back up to the front right now. Anderson currently 22.4 uh, seconds behind Chinoweth, who Chinoweth continues to shut his engine off, coming down into the turns, extending his, uh, his fuel run. He's extended his fuel run off of everybody else about by eight laps by now. Chinoweth able to save eight laps by turning off his fuel here under green flag conditions here at uh, Homestead Miami live on Nordgar TV. This is going to be an interesting finish here as we hit lap number 119 this time by of 130. Right now we still have four cars out on the lead lap. But uh, fighting for the lucky dog, we're going to have two, uh, two vehicles fighting for the lucky dog. But this is all messed up, ladies and gentlemen. There, I Honestly, this broadcaster, I cannot see how Chinoweth can make it to the end. Uh, he should have been out of fuel, even saving fuel about four laps ago. I still say he's going to have to come down for a splash and go. Uh, we can't talk to his, uh, his crew chief right now. His crew chief has... Uh, 
told all media to stay away. Uh, they are under green flag conditions right now. Chinua running for the championship spot here for the Premier Race Network. And his crew chief calling down the strategies, telling them how long to leave the uh, engine off. Chinuith is leaving the engine off for about 10 whole seconds a lap and still able to maintain first position. This is amazing. There, uh, where is second position right now on the track? I want to find second position. Mick Horner, 10.5 seconds. I don't know how Chinoweth is doing this, but uh, Chinoweth gaining on the second position, even turning off his uh, turning off his engine, he is still gaining on second position. Let's take a look right now with McHorter go on board inside the cockpit with him. See if McHorter is doing the same thing right now. McHorner sounds like he's got a miss. Lots of funky things going on with the engines here tonight at uh, the Premier Race Network's season finale at Homestead, Miami. What a race we've seen so far. Only one caution thus far. McHorner got his foot to the floor. He needs to put it all out on the track right now. There's uh, there's no saving more any more fuel right now. Let's find uh, Chinoweth. Chinoweth going to have to come down. McHorder has to come down. The 84 of second place going to give up second place to come down with only a handful of laps to go. He's just about out of gas. He may be out of gas. Let's check. No, he's not out of gas, but he's almost out of gas. Coming down for more fuel. This is going to be a splash in goal. 99-99. Uh, trouble, trouble, trouble. There is a 99. The 99 hits the outside wall on the front stretch. Brings it down to pit road. No caution. Flag is out. That's going to do it for Gollin right now. He's going to be able to stay out on the track, but any chances of winning this race just went out the window right there as he uh, smacks it up into the outside wall, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see all the toe and all the damage to the 99 vehicle. Bourgeois sounds like he's cutting his engine too. This is craziness, ladies and gentlemen. Craziness, I tell you. Bourgeois there in second position has regained it over McHorter. Go on board with Bourgeois. Bourgeois running the fuel strategy. Bourgeois shutting his engine off as well. They must be listening to the cast, hearing the strategy being employed by the 51. We got more cars down on pit lane. Pit lane action right now. Let's head down to pit road. There the 99 comes back down. 99 is the only one down on pit road after smacking the wall. He's going to come down and uh, get those fenders moved. Going to put four fresh good years on it. Try to finish the best he can here, to, here tonight. We got four laps to go. Four laps to go as Chinoweth. Amazing fuel miles strategy going on by Chinoweth right now. There is Bourgeois. The differential between first and second position is almost 15 seconds, ladies and gentlemen. Looking for uh, the 51. McHorder falls in behind the 22 of Bourgeois. 51 still in first position. Two to go this time by. Will Chinoweth have enough gas to get to the end? If he runs out after he crosses the line, he will not make it around. Quite the gamble this 51 team is playing here to win the championship. If he fails coming out of turn number four and actually does run out of gas and misses pit road, the champion will probably be Ned Adams. Big gamble to be playing here tonight at Miami Speedway. Last lap, last lap. 
Nope, sorry, one more lap. Two to go, two to go, two to go. Everybody all spread out, trying to run down the 51, but nobody's going to have any time to catch him unless he runs out of gas. Let's go on board with him. We need to watch the last lap of the season right here. This is his season. White flag this time by. Last lap of the race. Chinowith not shutting the engine off this time around. Chinowith weaving back and forth, trying to keep that fuel cell wet. Chinowith coming down the front stretch. And Chinowith Lee, uh, wins the race here at Homestead, Miami. And he will take home the championship for Premier Race Network season. Congratulations to the 51 and their team employing the strategy of shutting the engine off for about 35 laps, conserving enough fuel to stay out of pit road that extra time. Zach Chinowith, your leader, will go over the finishing order as they still are coming across the line. Chinowith out of gas right now, just ran out. Chinowiz, oh no, he hasn't run out. He's got enough to do some burnouts. Eight lead changes in this race. Congratulations to the number 51 of Zach Chinowiz as he is able to employ the fuel strategy saving. I don't know how much he saved fuel. We're, we're going to try to uh, we're gonna try to get a uh, word. Let's talk to our race winner and our, uh, well, our, our cup winner. He wins the uh, championship right here. Let's get a word with Zach Chinowith. Victor Lane. Zach Chinowith, this is Nordgar in the booth. You got a copy. Yes, sir. What's going on, man? Holy hell, we were on the edge of our seats watching you save fuel all those laps to stay out of pit lane. What were what was your thinking as you were going around? Did you were you sure you had enough if you saved enough? Or were you uh not too sure on that one? Yeah, I was sure I had enough. I just wasn't sure how much gear he had. So I was watching my mirror and watching my fuel, and uh, luckily it worked out. My car was loose enough where I could just still roll the middle off the throttle to where saving fuel hardly slowed me down. Well, we're still uh, running our calculators here trying to figure out how you saved. You saved about 14 laps of fuel, so congratulations to you and your crew chief on that. And also, congratulations on winning the championship for the Premier Race Network. Uh, it was a pleasure to call for you guys. It was a pleasure to watch for you guys. Do you have anybody you want to thank uh, here, uh, here live on Norgar TV as you head your car down to victory lane? I want to thank Ned for giving me a push because I have rent on fuel here doing a burnout. So thanks, Ned and Robert, for all y'all do with uh, Premier Race Network. Thanks to Nordgar for televising all of them. Thanks, Gary, for the setups. Thanks, everybody, for uh, having a nice, clean season. And uh, see you all next year. Well, thank you very much for the invite, and uh, congratulations. Enjoy. You just won the championship. You just won the race. What a way to finish out the season. Uh, next season, uh, do you plan on repeating? Yeah, I'm going to give it a go. Everybody go grab a Diet Mountain Dew. All right. Thank you, Zach. Uh, I would like to get a word in with the 66 of Ned Adams if he's still around. Ned, do you got a copy? Sure do. Ned, you were racing for the championship going into this race, 18 points behind Chinowith. Uh, what were your thoughts on that last series of green flag pit stops? Uh, they, they were good right up until I got caught speeding on the exit, and uh, that put me back in the pit stall and down a lap. So uh, after that, it was uh, just uh, finishing up the laps and uh, getting ready to congratulate uh, Zach on a heck of a good run there in the chase and one great championship. 
Well, you put on a good show. We were uh, going back and forth trying to calculate the points all night long. Uh, this is the last race of your season for the Cup Series. Uh, while we're live, you got anybody you want to thank uh, while you're sitting in the car here live on Norgar TV? We got a great, uh, great set of viewers here tonight. So uh, everybody's listening to every word you got to say. Anybody you want to thank? Uh, definitely Norgard uh, broadcast. These 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 broadcasts have been pretty dang good, and um, put up the uh, YouTube there on our on our videos page. Thank all the drivers. Uh, heck, those guys. Um, like you saw there, we didn't have but one caution I think in that race, and uh, we don't usually have many cautions. So not to all the drivers. They're just uh, they're just the best dang drivers out here. Well. That, congratulations to you on your season. Uh, you, you're going to end up the season, I believe, and the points aren't official yet from what I can see, but I believe you're going to come home second for the championship. So congratulations to you, and uh, thank you very much for inviting myself, Norgar, and the rest of my viewers and followers here on Twitch TV to join you guys. We've had a lot of fun watching you, and uh, we hope you invite, you, uh, invite us back for uh, next season. Can't wait to see it. I uh, hope we will. I uh, hope uh, 2013 will be just as good as this one, uh, if not better. Uh, you may have great, uh, great having you guys, and I uh, hope we'll get in to watch a couple of your uh, mystery races that you run there, too, as well, sometime. Well, all right. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm going to try to get a word in with uh, Justin Anderson. Justin Anderson in the 73. There's a Norgar in the booth. You got a copy? 10-4. Justin, pole sitter, what was your uh, what was your original game plan when uh, you started here in the race tonight? You ran a really good race. Uh, what was your plan when you saw uh, Chinoweth go by you? Uh, were you going to try to save some gas there toward the end, or uh, did you just pretty much throw your hands up in the air and say, yeah, that's it? I knew I could not save that much fuel, so I didn't have any expectation that anybody else would be able to either. So it actually surprised me that he was able to go that far. I thought everybody would have to pit, so I tried pitting early just to get the advantage of the new tires. And I still got second, so I'm happy with that. But, you know, I would have liked to get a checkered flag, you know, with my team under first. Well, you did come home second, and you put on a uh, you put on a great run. You did give Chinoweth a uh, run for his money uh, quite a few times here tonight, and I'm sure Chinoweth was uh, while he was following you, he was uh, trying to figure out how to get around you. You did a great job when you were in front of him. Uh, what happened there t with you at the end? Were you losing your tires, or were you just really worried about gas? I was really worried about the fuel mileage. I knew that I wouldn't be able to save enough to make it unless I had started right at the beginning of the restart, and I had not. So I kind of had to drive as hard as I could and hit early and just hope strategy fell my way. Well, I thank you very much for letting us uh, interview you here live on Norgar TV. And again, I thank all of the Premier Race Network uh, League members for inviting us to uh, kind of, you know, voyeur in on all your action here. And we've had a great time here on Norgar TV. And uh, thank you very much. Is there, uh, before we sign off, I want to try to talk to Gary Bourgeois if he's still around. But before you sign off, Justin, uh, what do you have for next year? And then is there anybody you want to thank here before we uh, leave you? I'd like to thank Ned and everybody who runs this league. It's actually a great league to run, and I had never really focused that much on the cup cars before. So hopefully next season I'll kind of get my feet wet and be able to do kind of what I did tonight consistently throughout next season. All right, uh, Justin, thank you very much for uh, talking to us. I'd like to get a word in with uh, Gary Bourgeois, who finished third position in the 22, if he's still around. Gary, are you still there? This is Norgar in the booth. No, nah, he's not. He, he already left. All right, well, then we'll talk to you, Robert Underwood in the 69. Uh, we were uh, watching your battle uh, tonight between you and the three. Uh, what did you think when the three, uh, he actually got loose and kind of wrecked himself? 
uh, but he was still a bunch of laps ahead of you because of your earlier incident. You needed to make up like 17 laps on the three, but the three ended up coming back out after he took the car behind the wall and got back out on the track. Uh, how did your gut feel when you saw that happen? Well, you know, I really wanted to race him tonight, and I felt real bad uh, when I spun my car coming out of turn two and, you know, get my car fixed, get him back out there, try to get as many points as I can. And then, you know, I saw him, he, he wrecked himself twice, and, you know, that's not the way I wanted it to go. I, I wanted us to race door-to-door, bumper-to-bumper this race. You know, I, I really like third in points, but, you know, I, I just wish that we could have stayed in it together. Well, there on that last run, it was uh, kind of up in the air whether he was going to be able to stay on the track. Uh, after going them behind the wall uh, the first time and coming back out, uh, it looked like he was going to try to run you down, and he had still had about 15 laps on you, and uh, you were able to uh, hold him off and stay out there after your vicious wreck earlier on in the race. Um, I would like to uh, ask you right now, uh, is there any of the sponsors you'd like to thank uh, and anybody else that uh, you would like to thank for your third place podium finish for the season? Yeah, I'd like to thank uh, Premier Race Network and Ned Adams and Built by Booze, Gary's company. Um, I'm glad that back in January they let me join this league. I was, I'd only been a member for uh, of iRacing for a few weeks, and you know, together with them teaching me and, and helping me drive my car, I think I've come a long way this season, and I'm really proud of the third-place finish I've gotten. Well, all right. Thank you very much for talking to us. And, uh, again, for the last time, thank you guys for inviting Nordgar TV here to uh, eavesdrop on all your races. We've had a great time. Uh, we hope to see you next season. And uh, right, while you guys are in the off season, uh, how much racing are you going to do in the off season? Are you going to go hunting? Are you going to go fishing? What are you going to do? I go fishing almost every day. And, you know, I love Florida weather for that. Um, next season, I'm going to come back, and I'm really going to concentrate in the trucks. Um, I, I love driving the A cars, but sometimes they can get away from me. But uh, I really love this, this league, and I, I'm look, really looking forward to next year. Well, we're looking forward to watching you here. And uh, congratulations on your podium finish for the season. And uh, good luck to you next season, and uh, have a great off season. Thank you, Michael. You too. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that's going to wrap it up here tonight. Thank you, Michael. For Nordgar TV and the Thanks, Premier Michael. Race. Thanks, Michael. I have to say it's a lot of fun to go back and watch the races oh. afterwards. You do a really good job. Well, thank you guys very much. And while you're in your off season, we are currently uh, in our fourth race of our new truck season. Uh, we're going to be coming to uh, you guys live on Saturday nights. That's when we run our leagues. Uh, we just finished up the last night. Uh, we raced at Las Vegas. There were zero cautions at that race. And uh, we had a great time. There's a lot of great drivers. So uh, maybe I can get some of you guys to head over and uh, watch some of our league races while you guys uh, take a couple of weeks off. But I appreciate all the compliments. And yes, be sure to head over to YouTube. I'll have this up as soon as I can. And uh, congratulations to all the drivers at uh, Premier Race Network. And uh, look forward to seeing you next season. Thanks, buddy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it from Homestead, Miami. Finisher, Zach Chinowith comes home with the trophy for the season, and he wins a race tonight. It is a double sweet victory for Chinowith. We're going to let him and his crew get down there in victory rain, do the hat dance, do their celebrations, spray the champagne. But this is Nordgar signing off, and we will see you uh, live for our league race Saturday nights. So be sure to head over to PremierRaceNetwork.com and check them out and get in on the action early uh, before they start their 2013 season. Thank you very much. This is Norgar signing off for Norgar TV. We will see you very soon.